Hi folks, we're looking at historical Jesus studies and we're looking at First Clement, a very important uh, historical document concerning the historicity of Jesus. Uh, before we get into reading a little bit of uh, just causing a few links now. Uh, information on first comment on the Anchor Bible Dictionary by Wellborn. The epistle is customarily dated of the reign of Domitian in 95 to 96 uh, AD. The first sentence of the letter, the author explains that the Roman Church has been delayed in turning its attention to the dispute at Corinth by sudden and repeated misfortunes and hindrances which have befallen us. This statement is usually interpreted as an allusion to persecution through which the Church of Rome has just been passing, since chapter 5 speaks of the Neronian persecution as some, something long past, the sporadic assaults of Domitian must be meant, but the language of 1-1 is so vague that one may doubt whether it refers to persecution at all. Um, so I'll, I'll link to the information there, and we'll read... A little bit of Clement. By reason of the sudden and repeated calamities and reverses which are befalling us, brethren, we consider that we have been somewhat tardy in giving heed to the matters of dispute that have arisen among you, dearly beloved, and to the detestable and holy sedition, so alien strange to the elect of God, which a few headstrong and self willed persons have kindled such a pitch of madness that your name, once revered and renowned and lovely in the sight of all men, have been greatly reviled. For who that has sojourned among you did not approve your most virtuous and steadfast faith? Who did not admire your sober and forbearing piety in Christ? Who did not publish abroad your magnificent disposition of hospitality? Who did not congratulate you on your perfect and sound knowledge? For you did all these things without respect of persons, etc. In 1 Clement 7.4, he mentions the blood of Christ in 1 Clement uh, I think 21 1 he says let us understand dearly beloved how the master continually the first fruit showeth unto us when he was when he raised resurrection that shall come forth be hereafter um, him to come he, he made the Lord Jesus Christ I think resurrected so basically uh, reading the letter we get we do get some facts about the early church actually believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead so that's historical information alright thank you for listening